Hi. Let's solve this very quickly. X to the power of 3 plus 8 equals 0. Remember, we are to solve completely. Let's solve completely. Okay, and because we are solving completely, we are expected to have the three solutions from this equation. So if you don't know how to go about that, you have to subscribe and stay put so you can see all the steps. So what do you do first? Let's express this in this form. So we have x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. Okay, just like we have difference of two squares, we have difference of two cubes, we can equally have the sum of two cubes. Okay, here we have sum of two cubes. And imagine that we have A cube plus B cube. Okay, what do you have? This is A. Okay, we have A plus B into a squared minus a b plus b squared this is the identity and if it is the difference of two cubes you have your own um it will have its own identity now from here our a is x b is two so let's substitute all of this into this a plus b will now be x plus two into a squared is going to be x squared minus a b is going to be x times 2 this is x times 2 then plus b squared is going to be 2 squared and then we equate everything to 0 then from here we have our x plus 2 already then here we have x squared minus x times 2 is 2x then plus x um, 2 squared that is 4 then we equate to 0 now we have 0 product rule 0 product rule and you should know when to apply this you apply it when you have a times b to be 0 so it is either a is 0 or b is equal to 0. And that is the same thing here. If you relate this to this, your a now is x plus 2, while this one is b. So it's when you multiply two terms to get 0 that you apply this rule. x plus 2 is either 0 or x squared minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 okay so let's solve this from here I can have x plus 2 minus 2 equals 0 minus 2 remember the additive inverse of 2 is minus 2 right okay so because of that it has to appear on two sides now x will remain here and it's equal to 0 minus 2 that is minus 2 so one of the solutions here is minus 2 right so to get the other solutions we'll pick this equation which is x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 0 we're going to pick that and then solve it quadratically right Let's use this formula for that. Um, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the next thing you are going to do is to know your a, b, c. Our a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is 4, the constant. So we we'll now substitute into this quadratic formula. X will now be this minus two will be uh, minus b will become two because negative negative will turn to positive. 
then plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared. If I write like this, this will not be correct because we have to put this in bracket. Then minus 4 times a times 4. Then we divide by 2 times 1 and that will still be 2. So x from here now is going to be 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16. 4 times 1 times 4 is 16 divided by 2. So we go ahead to get x equals 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 16 is 12. Okay, negative 12 rather. Then we divide by 2. If I take a step, I'll write x to be 2 plus or minus square root of 12 multiplied by square root of negative 1 as we divide by 2. This way we'll be able to find the square root of 12. Okay, so our x now will be 2 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3. Because 12 is 4 times 3, then multiply by i. Square root of negative 1 is i. Then divide it by 2. So x will now be 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 3. Multiply by i. Divide by 2. Remember root 3. 3 here is not a perfect square. So it has to come down. Then our x from here will be 2 plus or minus. We have 2 times i. That will be 2i. Then we have root 3. Divide by 2. Okay, so our x will now be 2 will go there. We have 1 plus or minus. The same 2 will go here. And we'll have just i. Then root 3. So from here, we have 2 in 1 solution, right? So let's bring the three solutions together. x1, which is equal to negative 2. That is the first solution. Then we have our x2, which is equal to what we have here. 1 plus i root 3. Okay. Then the third solution, x3, is 1 minus i root 3. So these three are the solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.